What's going on guys, A Grouch here bringing you guys another Black Butler related video. You guys really did enjoy the last couple videos I made on this series and I've been seeing a lot of comments asking me to make videos for the independent characters, so I decided, you know, why not? So with all that said and said, here are 10 facts about Grell Sutcliffe. Hope you guys enjoy. Grell is very fond of using words that can be often misinterpreted and incorporating plays into his speech. He has a tendency to put things in terms of theater, referring to Angelina's death as the falling of curtains, as well as comparing his conflicting Grim Reaper and Demon quote-unquote relationship with Sebastian similar to the conflict from the play Romeo and Juliet. Grell has fallen in love with a number of characters from the series, three of them being Sebastian, William, and The Undertaker. Now, I included this fact in one of my previous videos, and I received a number of comments telling me that Madame Red should have been on this list. However, I personally never saw anything in the series that could have been evidence for this. I always just saw them as partners. So, I mean, if anyone can clear things up for me on this one, I would greatly appreciate it. According to the official Black Butler character popularity poll, Grell was voted as the fourth most popular character in the series with 779 votes, ranking him among the double six alongside Sebastian, CL, and Vincent Phantom Hive, Charles Gray, and The Undertaker. In the official Black Butler character guide, Grell's favorite color is revealed to be red, although that one was kind of obvious. But it also reveals that he likes the scent of roses and musk, and he dislikes tea. In the OVA The Tales of Will the Grim Reaper, Grell and William were both students at the Grim Reaper Academy. However, Grell resented being partnered with William because at the time Grell was a very excellent student with an expertise in handling a scythe, while William was just an average student. Which was kind of a shock for me considering as how much of a goof he is compared to William, who is kind of a stickler when it comes to the rules. In Black Butler 2, Grell's design was slightly changed from the first season. His vest, which was initially black, was changed to brown, and his hair appears to be darker. His eye color was also changed so that his pupils were a dark greenish color, and his iris a light green. And he is able to use his death scythe as a means of transportation. In the Durarara manga, which is a series known for frequently referencing other anime slash manga works, an image of Grell can be seen on the doors of an elevator inside of a manga store. Now if you guys have been following me for a while now, you guys will know I love finding little hidden references and easter eggs inside series, so hearing about this one and finding out it was legit, I thought it was really cool. Grell's name bears a resemblance to Peter Sutcliffe, a British serial killer responsible for the death of 13 women, also known as the Yorkshire Ripper. Although he also shares many similarities to Jack the Ripper, so if I had a guess, I would say he is based on a combination of the two. In the early drafts of the series, Grell did not wear high heels like we see him wearing now. I can only guess that the series creator, Yana Tobaso, threw this one in here just to confuse us a little bit more. Grell's biggest dream has been to become a woman as he has not been pleased being a man ever since he was born. In the questionnaire Grell's Confessional, which series creator Yana Tobaso had written to answer personal questions regarding him, she only addressed Grell with feminine pronouns and confirmed that he is a pre-operation male to female transsexual. However, while this means Grell should be referred to with female pronouns by the fanbase based on how the creator herself referred to him, this was never properly addressed within the series, so many people still refer to him using male pronouns. So I just gotta say now, I'm not trying to offend anyone, I know in this video I've been using male pronouns, but that's just how I've seen this character throughout the series, and I've never been a big fan of using the term they, as it just sounds kinda weird for me. So do me a favor guys, don't get all triggered and flame me in the comment section please. I can't believe I actually just had to say that. And there you have it guys, 10 facts about Grell Sutcliffe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, like I said in the beginning, I've been seeing a lot of comments requesting me to make individual fact videos for the characters in the series, so I'm definitely gonna start doing that. So if you guys want to see a specific character from this series, or maybe one from like Fairy Tale or Naruto, or even the series I haven't done on my channel yet, feel free to leave me your suggestions in the comment down below. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, you can go ahead and comment the word Grell down below to let me know. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you could tap that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe for future videos. If you have an idea for a top 10, leave a comment down below, I make top 10s all just by anything. And with that being said, I'll thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.